Hey there, citizens, Pally here, and welcome back. It's time for another tour of duty, and this time we're going to be taking out, well, the Misk Razor. Sorry, I got distracted by the Starfire taking off there. Uh, let's jump back in here. Uh, so this is the Misk Razor EX LX. There's three different Misk Razors. For the most part, it changes your livery. So as you can see, this one's nice and white and everything. Uh, it also changes your primary weapon. Uh, but that's basically it, as far as I can tell. Uh, one of them's dedicated more the racer. That's this one. One of them's more of a general purpose interceptor. That's the base model. And then there's one that's a, a stealth combat role. Let's go ahead. We'll open the Moby Glass. I'll look in here and we'll see... So if we come down through here, Misk Razor. So the main one right here, this is the actual livery of the of the the primary ship. Uh, you can see here it has two uh, Panther or Badger. Let's see, they go whatever the the, the size two ones are. Uh, which ones are Badger? Yeah, two size two Badger repeaters, also two size one missiles. Uh, then you have the EX which is, I believe, the combat one. Yeah, it's the scatter gun. So this one is actually pure jet black. It doesn't have really hardly anything on it. So the, the liveries are all on that one. It has two size two little scatter gun shotguns, uh, also two size one missiles. Uh, and then you have the one we are looking at right here, which is the LX. As you can clearly see, the livery is different on that, uh, which has the auto cannons, but it doesn't have any actual uh, missiles. So you give up the auto cannons. Uh, or give up the missiles for a, maybe a little bit more speed. I did most of my testing on the main Razor model, so we'll see uh, what this does. Visually, I like it. F1 Formula 1 type ship. You know, in terms of the racers, the standouts are this and the M50. Uh, flip a coin day of a week of which one I prefer. I like the front end of this one more than the M50s, but the M50 has that really awesome, there's like a back hatch window where you can see down into the components of the engine. It's very very much modern day Lamborghini, uh, Ferrari, they're, they're all doing it. Lamborghini, Ferrari, McLaren, uh, this back hatch window where you can kind of see into the engine compartment, uh, which I like on the M50. So split whatever day, uh, I like whichever one. Um, not too much to see around the outside here. You know, it's fairly straightforward, clean, sharp ship, clean, sharp ships. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and you climb in. Uh, the entry's a little bit different. It's not an actual ladder. Let's see if I can catch it on camera here. Here we go. Yeah, so you kind of just jump up on it like that. That's pretty cool. As the cockpit restricts in. Yeah, it's not bad. Go ahead and we'll do a uh, power on. So as we did see, it does have some armament. Now this isn't designed to be a combat ship. Uh, the armament though... It's more of a harassing against something, a buccaneer, a gladius or whatever. You can be used as an interceptor. I'll be interested to see when they bring more dis disrupt disruption weapon or distortion weapons online. Uh, there already are distortion cannons, but I think they start at size 3. Uh, I might be wrong about that. Uh, but you see this thing kind of being used as a tackler because it is so fast. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is I don't know if there's much of a reason to do a uh, combat mission. We'll, we'll take a quick bounty, I guess. Bounty hunter there. Accept. Jump into the star map. I learned something new. Double right click auto zooms out all the way. Uh, double right click auto zooms out. I knew the, the double left click would zoom you in. I didn't know the double right click would zoom you out. And you can click anywhere to do that, which which is convenient. Uh, so there it is, yellow. Is it going to be out by Grim Hex? Yes, it is. Of course it is. That's where all the pirates are. It's such a, a reputable place. Engine on. Alright. Not a bad sound. There we go. A little bit of landing gear action, so the landing gears do pivot as they come up. I will track them up inside. I didn't actually realize they don't fully hide inside. Like, the panels don't actually all the way close. Um, okay. Didn't didn't realize that. It's not a problem. Come out here. Acceleration is good. You know, 
Uh, it is good. Okay, so this one does go a little faster. The uh, the regular one, the blue model, the, the Miss Grazer was stopping out at 335, 330. So it's 5 or 10 kilometers an hour faster without adding in uh, boost. That's great. Close chat. Uh, we'll then punch boost up. Yeah, it's it for what it's supposed to be a quick interceptor slash uh, uh, race car type ship. Uh, you know, it it gets the job done. I don't know. Uh, you got to compare this to so you have the M50 that we talked about for briefly. Uh, then you have the 350R, which I think is the fastest of them all. Uh, we'll see when the the rework three 300 series come out in uh, 3.5, I believe. Um, yeah, freelancers are 3.4. And 300 is now 3.5. Um, so we'll see that. And then you also have the Mustang variant. Is there any I'm missing? I think that's all of them. I've never put much into the racers. Uh, I'm more of a, a combat role type person. So the racers just didn't really do much for me. There, there's certainly a need for interceptor type ships. And... The races probably could eventually be pretty cool. Uh, I had a tough time. I didn't want to play them enough to, to really learn the courses inside of Arena Commander. I also didn't really have a good racing ship to do it with, you know. That kind of does make it eat better. When, if, you ha if you own a racing ship, you're probably more likely to learn the race courses. Let's see. That's not our contact. That's our contact. But at least we know there's two of them. Okay, a Buccaneer. Uh, I actually took this one because I figured these uh, cannons uh, might actually do our best punch. Yeah. So Woo! This definitely feels like a joystick flight ship. Uh, obviously, you don't have the... Uh, you don't have gimbals. But you also, you also, um, you're very much a turner. You're not a, unlike some, that, that alien, what was the, um, the Aopoa ship? Unlike that, you're definitely more of a, a turner than a, than a, if, aha, come on, Power, use your words. You're, you're not pulling the, these, these quick things and then just going again. You're, you're more of a, a sweeping larger, broader stroke type chip, I would say. Where's the cat? Where'd that cutlass go? Let's go up here. Take a run at the cutlass. This is probably going to take a while to get through here. Need to improve that dead zone accuracy, maybe. Maybe I gotta reduce my dead zone. Not too bad. I mean, it's a lot easier when they're just sitting still, allowing you to shoot at them. Whew. Where'd the actual moon go? There it is. All right, let's, let's make a quick run through the uh, asteroid field here. Center of the camera. Uh, the asteroids come a little too slow for a, a true proper effect. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clear route. So we're kind of already on the sunny side, so we can just go right there. Shouldn't take too long. There should be a nice quick jump. Nice quick video, too. Gotta ask yourself, do you want two size one missiles, or do you want the uh, little bit extra speed? A very little bit extra speed. I'm not sure how much 
five or ten kilometers an hour is going to really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's, uh, but two size one missiles, how much are they going to matter in the grand scheme of things? Probably not all that much either. This will be an interesting one to see when we uh, get the 3.4, the not 3.4, but 3.5. Yeah, 3.5, the, the new flight model. Because it has wings, it has aerodynamics to it, but they're designed in a way that isn't around lift. They're designed kind of like a Formula One car where it's actually around drag uh, in order to, to push you down, uh, at least visually. That's kind of... You know, Formula One cars are adding traction. They're 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 increasing drag, pushing them down harder. Uh, where the Formula One car would actually go faster in a straight line without that, uh, at least have a higher top speed. It might accelerate slower. We here we go, coming down in here. Let's see, this area over here looks a lot more interesting to fly into. Other than that gray magnesium rain cloud thing that's rolling through there. We'll cut behind it. Yeah, it's... Uh, at this stage in the game, where the races are nothing but out of match or out of game arena commander type stuff, uh, there's not really a whole lot to be earned or gained from it. Um, you look at a ship like this and it's just really hard to say it's, it has much of a use. Sure, a great dog pilot with this thing using its speed could probably be super crazy deadly. Uh, that's the same thing with the that Aopoa ship I did earlier. Um, but for the average player... Well, you're faster, so you're 340 compared to Gladius, which is two, 280. So you got 60 kilometers an hour on it. You'll outrun it pretty quick, I guess, but you're you're still you're actually going to be speed boosting. It's going to be more who can keep their speed boost up and adjust their minimum turns if one's trying to chase the other one down. Uh, it's going to go into Quantum. Uh, I would probably take a light fighter, even the Arrow. Um, which is even slower. That's, that's going to be 70 kilometers uh, under this. I'd probably still take one of those just for the extra punch. I'm trying to get the camera a little bit above it. There we go. Woo! I like the uh, blue effect on those vectoring thrusters. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't mind that. That's, that's kind of neat. Flying over here. It handles nicely. It flies really well. Uh, the engine sounds are pretty cool. The the UI, the heads-up display, um, the the general cockpit, it's not too bad. You know, you're, you're limited on weapons, which absolutely makes sense for what it is. It's a race ship. It's an interceptor. It's not a combat ship. Um, you don't have any other utility beyond that. But okay. Uh, if you're interested in it, this or M50 is probably the way to go. Maybe the, the rework 350R, but we have to see how they handle that thing, because if it gets bigger, you would think it's going to lose something. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. That's the the uh, the Razor, the Misk Razor. I forgot what it was called there for a little bit. Uh, until next time, this has been Paller. Thanks for watching. Uh, just a real quick update. I did notice that actually the landing gear were a little bugged. The landing gear are supposed to retract fully in uh, and go flush inside. When I was looking at it earlier in the video and we could see that they, they weren't there, but when I was flying back out, I noticed I couldn't even see the landing gear inside those little places because they weren't being rendered uh, because they were supposed to be hidden behind panels. So just in case you're interested in that, it does give the bottom a much cleaner look like I would have thought it was going to, that very flat bottom effect. Take it easy, everyone.